Welcome to this instructional video for the Dave Smith Instruments OB6 editor from Sound Tower. Before we begin using the OB6 editor, we must confirm that the OB6 is set up to send and receive information correctly to allow the editor and the OB6 to communicate with each other. On the OB6, push the global button once. The global button displays a red LED and a red LED to the left and above the 0 to 9 buttons, indicating that the parameters in the top row can be accessed. The first parameter we need to confirm is the MIDI channel. Click the number 2 program button. We can select any of the 16 available MIDI channels we wish using the bank select and 10 select buttons, but for now let's use all. Next, click the 5 button to select parameter XMIT or parameter transmit. Again, using the bank select and 10 select buttons, you can select CC and NR. CC stands for continuous controller and NR is short for NRPN, standing for non-registered parameter number. Continuous controllers are a basic set of available parameters over MIDI. These include things like volume, pan, and program changes. NRPN stands for non-registered parameter numbers. These can be defined as needed by the instrument and software developers to control many more parameters than could ever be done with continuous controllers. For the OB6 to communicate with the editor, we need to select NR or NRPN. This, along with parameter received set to NRPN, allows the editor to control all the parameters of the OB6. This also assures that any changes that are made to the controls on the front panel of the OB6 will be reflected in the editor window. We will confirm that once we get the other settings of the OB6 set. So as mentioned, push the 6 button, set the parameter received to NR for NRPN using the bank select and 10 select buttons. Push the 7 button to confirm that MIDI control enable is set to on. This turns on the communication path. The 8 button selects the cable type that MIDI SysX will send on. SysX is short for system exclusive. This is set to allow additional data to be exchanged between the OB6 and the editor. Most current instruments incorporate a USB port to allow easy connection. However, in larger rigs, sometimes a traditional multi-port interface is used, requiring the use of standard 5-pin MIDI cables. For this example, we will use the USB connection. Use the bank select and 10 select buttons to set MIDI SysX cable to USB. Click the 9 button and set MIDI out to USB. Once these settings are complete, click the global button twice to exit the setup. Next, let's open the OB6 editor. Click on MIDI, then MIDI setup. Your screen may appear somewhat different depending on if you're on a Mac or PC and what your exact MIDI setup is in your studio. Here we see the OB6 appearing as an available connection. Confirm that the global MIDI channel is set to all. If we click on the OB6 on the import side and the OB6 on the outport side, we see that the OB6 is now online. Once the OB6 is showing online, we can exit this window. To confirm the connection, we can adjust the parameters on the OB6, and they will be reflected on the editor. And we can adjust the parameter on the editor, and it will be received by the OB6. For those using a standard MIDI interface, on the OB6, click the global button, push the 8 button, set MIDI SysX cable to MIDI, Click the 9 button, set MIDI out select to MIDI. Click the global button twice. And again, back to the editor. Click MIDI. Click MIDI setup. To keep it simple for demonstrating, I have the OB6 connected through an old two port MIDI man interface. The OB6 is connected through the A in and out ports. If I select those two ports in this window, the OB6 once again comes back online and is ready for editing. Again, to confirm the connection, we can adjust parameters on the OB6 and they will be reflected on the editor. 
and we can adjust a parameter on the editor and it will be received by the OB6. The OB6 and OB6 editor are now communicating correctly. We hope you'll enjoy using the Soundtower OB6 editor to reach inside this powerful instrument.